Hi there, students. Wilt. To wilt as a verb, a regular verb. OK, so I bought her a bunch of flowers, but due to the hot weather, the next day they had wilted. OK, so wilt. This is a verb we use about plants. It means something is dying and becoming weak because it needs more water. Yeah? Um... In hot weather, if you don't water your plants, they will wilt, they will droop, they will sag, they will wither. Yeah, and this is the idea of to wilt. Well, I think wither is where it goes further, it starts to dry out. But firstly, to wilt, to become flaccid because of loss of osmotic pressure. But we can use this word metaphorically um, for a person as well. So if somebody's energy wilts, they, uh, yeah, enthusiasm for the course started to wilt after about a month. It started to wane, to flag, to decrease. Um, the um, resistance wilted in the face of uh, very severe um, complaints, yeah, very severe opposition. That was the word I was looking for, yeah. So if you don't put flowers in water, they will wilt very quickly, yeah. They will wilt with the heat. Um, Huh. Very often, Chinese vegetables, raw vegetables, wilted cucumber. You cut it, you open it, and then you leave it for 24 hours with a bit of salt in it. Goes much softer. Okay, so um, a person, a, a person becomes weaker, becomes tired, becomes less confident. Yeah. So after listening to the lecture for three and a half hours, my attention was beginning to wilt. It was beginning to sag. Yeah. It uh, wasn't. Um, <laughs> as strong as it had been before, yeah? Okay, so it lost energy. It started to sub, s suffer the effects of uh, fatigue. It started to weaken, yeah? Um, the enthusiasm of the crowd wilted as they saw the opposition score goal after goal. So to wane, to fail, to sink, to flag, to dwindle, to diminish, yeah? Um, his determination to finish wilted in the face of powerful opposition, yeah? Um, so, and the plants were wilting because they just hadn't been watered, yeah? So it's got this idea of uh, to sag downwards, to droop, yeah? Uh, and then of a person to lose strength, enthusiasm, energy, to become fatigued, yeah? Um, actually, wilt you can actually probably use in a, as a noun, as a disease. If a plant suffers from wilt, you'll see the tips of the shoots start to drop. So, for example, aphids cause wilt in plants, yeah? Um, also, while we're on this, this verb of wilt, there was a really good book by Tom Sharp. I'd recommend it to, to any of you. I think it's probably quite an easy read. It's very funny. I think they made it into a film, finally, um, The Adventures of Mr. Wilt. Yeah, so I would recommend that to you. And while we're on uh, a red herring or on a sidetrack, there is actually another meaning of wilt. It's the very archaic, old-fashioned form of will. Yeah? Thou wilt come with me. Thou wilt be here at four o'clock. Um, that's... that's I, I wouldn't use it. Oh, you could use it to make a joke, but no more. Trying to uh, sound old-fashioned or, some, or something like that. But I wouldn't use it uh, to, today in, in any other context. OK, so wilt. Let's try the uh, origin. Um, it's probably a change of the word, um, or the Middle English word welk or welkin. Yeah, um, welkin, which... which um, <clears throat> Which means the the atmosphere, yeah, the area, 
the uh, uh, the weather area yeah which probably comes from proto-germanic uh vulcana yeah um meaning a cloud so mm, i'm not sure of the link well the weather in a specific area when it's very hot you wilt i don't know okay um so to wilt formality my energy was beginning to wilt <sighs> I think I would give that a four and a half informality. I think use it in a semi-formal writing in an informal conversation, but nothing more than the semi-formal writing. The plants wilted, the vegetables were wilted. Um, that is five informality used absolutely anywhere. Yeah, my energy was starting to flag. He, he was beginning to wilt in the heat. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Wilt.